So what's up? This is Juwan Buford, managing partner of JSB Ben Solutions Group, PPLSI entrepreneur, co-founder and ex-op social, and um, serial entrepreneur. And what I want to talk about is Maui and having no chill. Yeah, I said it correctly, right? <laughs> Would be, wouldn't be two things you would expect uh, to be in the same sentence or title of a talk, right? Maui and having no chill. Um, but I was reflecting on this quite a bit. Um, as individuals have asked me repeatedly over and over again, you know, how's vacation? How's Maui? And of course, my initial thought, like right off the top of my head as well, hell's Maui. <laughs> you know, um, you know, five star treatment, beaches, water, um, great food, great people, um, great accommodations, great culture, the beer to kind of quote unquote uh, let your hair down or or at least, you know, let your spidey senses go down for a moment, just relax. You know, as entrepreneurs, we need that in our lives. And, you know, it's one of the few places I've been to that I've traveled where it not only met, but far exceeded expectations. And of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't say thank you, PPLSI. I'm trying to tell you, man, three mile runs along the beach and um, room service and great accommodations. It just lands differently when another company is willing to help subsidize and pay for this type of stuff, right? So it was great, it was fantastic. But I'll tell you what really made the biggest impact, I guess my, the, the greatest benefit I derived from being out in Maui was something that I think a lot of people won't expect. And I'll tell you what I took back with me. And, you know, of course I'm there and I'm, I'm networking with colleagues and developing a stronger relationship, that's great, that's fantastic. Developing greater rapport, understanding people's whys. Um, less uh, pressure to be interesting and be interested and do deep dives and better understand where people are coming from and how we can work together, right? They say collaboration is a new currency, right? Um, but I'll tell you the other thing that I took back from Maui or benefited from Maui is talking to the inhabitants and talking to um, the other entrepreneurs who were there who weren't necessarily colleagues a part of the same company, right? Meeting with them and hearing their experiences and what they were going through, but also understanding that many of them, their trip were not subsidized. I mean, Maui is um, not inexpensive, okay? We had individuals who were there who were literally paying $1,000 a night, $1,500 a night. Um, some were paying as much as $2,000 a night while they were there at the same resort. Um, with the different packages and everything else they had going on, you know, it's easy to eat three to four hundred dollars in one day out in Maui. I mean, half a day <laughs> you can do it without much effort, right? Um, and especially if you have, you know, children, family, everything else with you. My gosh! And so, having these conversations and listening to these entrepreneurs who could, quite frankly, comfortably afford to pay for this, right? Because being a former investment advisor, I had to see math differently, and I immediately did the math. I was like, you know, to responsibly be able to pay for this, we know what type of revenues these people were generating. We're talking about 500K plus, easy. Because, you know, you're, you're going to spend 20K easily in Maui for a week. You can spend it real quick, fast, in a hurry. So for me, it was fascinating having conversations because a lot of these individuals weren't PhDs. It's not like they had 50 million degrees. Matter of fact, the majority of them did not. A lot of individuals who were there, it's not like they had super powers, right? A super terrestrial talent, super terrestrial skill. Now, no doubt they had skill. No doubt they had talent. They put in the work. They refined themselves. But it wasn't what you expect, right? And many of them, quite frankly, everyday Joes for the most part. Um, some of them may have come from environments where they were born on second base. Uh, not third, but sometimes so a lot of them were second base. Some of them were, some of them were born on first base. But what they did have in common is they worked their asses off, like they worked their faces off the channel, the inner Gary Vee. And they also um, were very shrewd. They, um, their decision making was a lot different. And that was a huge benefit to sit down and hear that and also listen to their own self-concept, right? Because it takes a lot of self-concept, a lot of confidence, a lot of awareness of your value prop to be able to sit across on the table and basically charge someone 2,000% more than what the next person is charging, right? You see that a lot in the business coaching, business consultation space. You have individuals who are charging $50 an hour. It amazes me when I found that out. People charging $50 an hour, woo! Anyway, 
versus individuals who are charging 379 or 1,000 or 2,000 or 5,000, right? To spend an hour with them or 20,000, whatever the case may be, um, a really heightened degree in the self-awareness of their value prop and the arbitrage involved with the work that they do. Um, and once again, just the ideal that spending $2,000 in a day the way some people spend $20 in a day without deliberation, that was an attention getter. And for me, it was an eye opener. It really impressed upon me that I've been playing way too small. That's what I took back from Maui. That I've been playing way too small. You know, when I came back to Detroit, and you know, I live in the downtown Detroit area, work, play, live, all that fun stuff. It's not like I live in squalor. Downtown Detroit is beautiful. You know, everything you can think of in terms of amenities around you. Um, I'm fortunate to be in the area and to be able to work in the area and play and live and do things with my children in the area. But I looked at it differently. I looked at the residents I live in differently. I looked at the people around me differently. I looked, I'll be frank, I looked at some of my business partners and even some of my clients differently. And I just had no chill because I realized I was playing so much smaller than I should have been, right? And it's not to say that, you know, I quote unquote deserve all of a sudden to earn the type of income where I could easily pay twenty or thirty thousand dollars for a trip like that for just a handful of days, but it let me know that I need to be fast forward in the process of becoming the person that um, can command that type of income and will command that type of income and revenue, so I can scale and do more for my business, for my family, and make the impact I want to make in the world. And quite frankly, be able to enjoy trips like that. You know, that was for me was one of the greatest impacts of being there was just self affirmation and, and having a greater vision for what's available out there for those of us who make the decision, right? To be the things we need to be, to be deserved of the goals and of the objectives that we set forth for in life. And for me, that was my greatest take back. I mean, the other thing, of course, I drive home is for entrepreneurs, you gotta reward yourself. You know, we work very hard. Sacrifice is like common denominator, right? In the beginning, especially, you're doing a lot of work you're not getting paid for. So later on, you do work you no longer have to do. But part of taking trips like this is the reward. You got to have something to show for it, right? You got to give yourself a bit of a reprieve. Um, it was necessary. It was also necessary because you understand there's levels to this, right? There's levels. You want to go to a car dealership and look at a $500,000 car. Hell, take it for a test drive, a million dollar car if, you, if you're able to. You want to be able to do those things. You want to be able to get around individuals who have leveled up, right? Who are performing above and beyond what your expectations or what your familial, familiar surroundings may be or what you're accustomed to. That's so important. There's levels. You need to understand that there's levels because you can get in your comfort zone, right? Sometimes the people that you spend the most time around, even though you may love, uh, like, know, and trust them and vice versa, sometimes those are the individuals who are actually pouring water on your fire. They're dousing you. Right? Because you will start coming up with these ideals and these visions that are grandiose to them. But quite frankly, there are levels where your ideals that are grandiose are just a penance, just par for the course. Right? And you need to understand that. And that's another reason why seminars, events, going to business conferences, stretching yourself, spending the extra money, right? making the sacrifices is not what you can't afford, it's what you choose to spend your money on. Choose to spend your money on things that really will stretch you in this way. It's so absolutely important that you do that for yourself. Um, and that was my biggest take back. So no, I'm, I am on 10. I have no chill. I have no patience for people with, with like mediocre visions. I have no patience for, even for clients and prospects that don't appreciate the importance of the decisions that they're making and how little small investments, snowflakes turn into snowballs can make a real impact. Not understanding that you're setting a future appointment with yourself, right? Um, you want to do the things, you want to invest in the things in terms of your time and money that your future self will thank yourself, thank you for, right? Um, I have just no chill right now for things that just don't contribute to my well-being and to the well-being of those whom I love, know, and trust and that I want to scale and build with. I just have no chill, right? And that's been my greatest take back from Maui. Uh, if you really want to know, if people keep asking me, like, how was Maui? Well, that's how it was. That's the impact that it made on me. That's the impact that I'm looking to somehow inoculate 
and help other people um, understand and begin to adopt as well. So with that being said, I celebrate your success as always. Look, if this resonated with you, if this moved you, if, if you found value in this, man, smash the like button, share it, um, comment. I love comments. You know, I eat them like Skittles. And um, once again, celebrate success in advance. Goodbye for now.